Talk and Rock Radio, where friends meet at the intersection of life, inspiration, and music. Here's your host, Rick Kern. Hi, everybody. You know, when I think of great guitar pickers, many names come to mind. Chet Atkins, Jerry Reed, Glenn Campbell, Tommy Tedesco, Eric Clapton, Jimi Hendrix, Jeff Beck, Tommy Emanuel. There's so many. The gentleman you are about to see at age 11 was asked by Chet Atkins to come up on stage and play with him at Her Majesty's Theater in London. 41 years later, he's carved his place as one of the very best in the industry. Welcome live from Star City Studios in El Paso, Texas, our dear friend, Richard Smith. Southwest. I love it. Drove over from uh, Tucson today. Traveling all over the place. All right. So I'm going to take you traveling here. We'll go to Japan. We'll go to Japan via Kentucky. I'll thumb kick you in all Japanese hits if you recognize this one. Thank you, folks. 
Thank you so much. Well, my name is Richard Smith, and uh, oh, I'm the, this is maybe my my fifth, sixth time playing here at Star City Studios. Thrilled to be back. Thank you so much for coming. I'm going to make sure my strings are acclimatized to this room, and I'll uh, I'll take you on a, a little journey. I'll play you some Jerry Reed tunes, some standards, some of my uh, favorite stuff. From the 60s, from before, and uh, we'll go all over the place. I'll start at home here. It's one called Down Home, Jerry Reed too. How many Jerry Reed fans out there? <laughs> all right, good stuff.
in Funky Jung, Jerry's Breakdown, three in a row, Jerry Reed tunes, all right. I'll pepper the set with Jerry Reed tunes, and I'll kind of cut my teeth on that as a finger picker. And you can finger pick all kinds of stuff. We'll, uh, we'll go back to the 60s for you. Oh, here we go. Back to the 60s. Also a travel. have played that one. My wife is a cellist, so she knows that inside out. And she knows the parts. I'm, I'm doing this part. And then I do this, this guitar thing. She says, no, 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 no. She says, so I can only do that when she's not here. So don't tell her I do you know, She's like, you guitar players always do that lick, you know. Just asking, but that one's just asking for it, right, Glenn? <laughs> All right, I'll stick with the, the Fab Four. This is one of, uh, I think this is the only song that Paul wrote that John liked. <laughs> as far as I'm aware. Well, certainly one of the ones he liked the most. Paul's granny music, as he used to call it. Except for this one.
Thank you. Thank you, folks. Oh, much appreciated. Well, you know what? I'm kind of all over the place here. I played the Beatles. I played Mel Travis. So we'll uh, we'll marry the two here. these pop instruments.
Yeah, I was right, no one got it. Yeah, it was Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass. It was from the dating game. Yeah. And it was called Spanish Flea. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if you look that up on YouTube, there's a version of it that they've looped for one solid hour. stand in here.
you folks. Polka Dots and Moonbeams was the name of that one. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you, folks. Well, good. I'll take you to Tennessee, where I live. Well, I say live. It's where my home base is. I kind of live out on the road. But um, I'll play you the song that made me want to play music. It was uh, a guy on a, an old 78 in my grandfather's basement. And I love the way he did this particular version. It's a song that you all know. But this particular version was the one that, um, that made me want to play music. Little dog spinning round. Little Nipper. Nipper is the guy's name. The, um, the Jack Russell. The dog. Who did not know that? There you go, you learned something. Yeah. There you go. Nipper, little Jack Russell spinning round. And I watched him and I listened to this guy sing this uh, just the way I wanted to hear it and uh, made me want to play music. So I'm going to try and take you back to my childhood. Sound just like that old 78 here. My darling, to the Tennessee walls, when an old friend I happened to see, he was dim to my loved one, up and seen my friend stole my spleen.
with the use of the older augmented chord. Check it out. Every other fret. How many guitar players we got out there? I use the diminished chord. That's the one that they use when the girl is tied to the railroad tracks like this.
Thank you, a little bit.
up in the entertainer. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll do you a couple more here. I'll do you a couple more. I did already ask, but how many guitar players have we got out there? Hands up. All right, how many pros do we have? How many people doing it? Dumb enough to be doing it for a living. <laughs> well, all right. This is a, you'll get this. You'll get this. or a bar or would you rather get a job <laughs> a job is the thing that makes you get out of bed you work every day until you're dead your back is aching and your brain is numb and you just can't wait until the weekends come but if you don't want to starve or beg or rob you probably have to get a job would you like Play the guitar, drive for miles and miles in your car, and pretend that you're a big star. Or oh, would you rather book the gig? The agent's the guy who gets his 20%. What he said ain't exactly what he meant. He'll clean you out in ways you never thought. Cause he's good at business, and he knows you're not. And you'll sue if you ever make it big. He's the one who put the gig Would you like to play the guitar For a living, hardy har har I'll admit it's kind of bizarre Or oh, would you rather be the wife <laughs> The wife is the one who has to rescue our butts She's either a saint or else she's nuts She gets in she gets annoyed Cause she's the one who must remain employed And by the way, if you want to wreck your life Become a guitar player's wife All the monkeys aren't in the zoo They can be trained to play guitar too And do a whole lot better than you But even if you don't go far You could be worse off than you are Guitar. All right, folks, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out, folks. It's been a blast for me again. Thanks for taking out your Friday night. You could have done anything. I mean, El Paso's a big town with a lot going on, but you came here, and I appreciate that. Came here to see your Uncle Rich. And uh, thank you so much to Buddy Winston and everybody here at Star City Studios. Thanks to Doug Neal, Glenn Leffler. Thanks to Rick Kern, set me up. All these guys who um, set me up gigs here in, um, in El Paso. It's, it's good to be working, I can tell you that. And i uh, thrilled to be back. I will be back again, I don't know when, but... Um, Check out my website, richardsmithmusic.com. What is that again? Richardsmithmusic.com. I heard that. I'm going to finish off with this one. I'm a little uh, premature on the old 4th of July, but uh, this is for you guys. Thanks again for coming, guys. I'll see you next time. See you. Later.
you, folks. Thank you so much for coming out. I'll see you next time. Thank you.